This is Steve Via here doing a video for my review of the Bosch uh, GMS120 wall scanner. Uh, this is essentially a high-tech device to scan behind your walls. So if you are looking for wood behind your walls, uh, studs to find, uh, you know, to put screws in to hang shelving, um, or to run electrical wiring to find fire breaks, uh, it will look for that. Uh, if you're looking for metal studs, um, or you're looking for uh, any type of metal behind the wall, such as pipes, it will uh, find that. And uh, if you're looking for electric wiring behind, behind the walls, you need to know where wire runs. If you're knocking the wall, wall down, you want to do a little reconnaissance, um, it will help you do that. Um, the reason I purchased this is I have thick walls in my house. Uh, drywall is about an eighth inch thick or so, and about a, a uh, excuse me, my drywall is about one inch thick and there's about an eighth inch of plaster on top, top of that. So standard stud finders, both electronic and magnetic, um, do not work for, for me. Um, this can scan up to a depth of four and three quarter inches, according to Bosch. So um, I'm going to do a demonstration here in a minute. I'm going to demonstrate it on one inch thick drywall in my house, uh, five eighth inch thick drywall, which is about the standard in most homes. I uh, will demonstrate on tile and I will uh, run down to my basement uh, with you and uh, we'll try it um, on the three quarter inch wood paneling I have in the basement. So anyway, the uh, kit comes with instructions, pouch, uh, you get this little lanyard here for the wall scanner. The wall scanner takes a nine volt battery. It comes with one nine volt battery to get you started. Um, the display here, everything I find pretty user friendly. I saw some reviews, some people found things complicated. The instructions could maybe be a little more user friendly, but it's like two pages of them. I found it pretty easy. Um, the uh, It's got the three modes, wood, metal, and electric wiring. You can turn the backlight on, the sound on, on and off. Um, the It calibrates pretty easily. One feature I love is this little hole in it. So when you find your stud there centered or your wire, you can just uh, put a pencil through there and mark it. Um, but overall, find it pretty easy to use. All right, um, I'm gonna start the demonstration. First is my standard one inch thick 1950s drywall here. Um, so I'll turn her on and she'll fire up. I'm gonna turn the backlight on, even though it's light out, because uh, I find it generally works better at angles with the video here. Get that light on. I also just turn the sound on and I'll leave it on for a little bit. Uh, it can get a little irritating. All right, so I'm gonna place a stud finder right in between where I know two studs are. I get the green. Um, when you're in wood mode, by the way, it will detect metal and electric, but it'll just give you symbols for it. Um, but you'll see the little crosshairs and stuff that only applies for the wood. Um, in the other modes, it will not tell you uh, if there's wood there or the other mode you don't have selected. All right, so we'll start sliding it to the left. And, oh, got a little red there. All right, so it's picked up on a metal. You can see the little magnet there. And the magnet is not does not have a cross over it or an X, meaning it is a it has found a magnetic metal. And oh, a little electrical wire symbol came up. And at this time, I'm going to turn off the sound. <laughs> All right, so got a light switch here studs on this side and it's pretty much found the wire that's nailed to the stud and maybe a screw in there. Um, I do not get a wood symbol here. Um, I think the wire is overpowering the sensor. Um, and I, I do, by the way, I think the wood mode does kind of use nails as well as however they find wood. Okay, so we found a wire here in the one inch thick dry, drywall. And I'm gonna slide it over the right, see if we can find some, find the stud. Okay, oh, a little wood symbol came on. It's letting me know it's there's wood in the vicinity. Okay, it's maybe it just found a screw. Or nails they used back in the 50s. Okay, so there's my center right about there. And I find you gotta go up and down to get true center. Um, Cause studs bend also, this thing's got about an eighth inch accuracy, which is good. All right, so my stud center there. So then I can take a pencil and mark it there. All right, so now I'm gonna move on uh, that was one inch drywall. I'm going to move on to my bathroom. I remodeled this about three years ago with five, inch, five eighths of an inch thick drywall. Place it on the wall. Um, let's look for a stud. There should be one. I know these walls pretty well inside. There should be one up here somewhere. There we go. And 
go up and you have to go up and down a little bit. I don't find an armor till I come out a little. There we go. Found the stud right around there. Okay, I'm going to switch it to electric. And this is where I run into problems with the half inch or standard thickness drywall. I know for a fact, running from this outlet, um, the switch up to the attic, there's a whole mess of wires in there, but the stud finder does not find them. Or excuse me, this wall scanner. So, um, the only issue I have, oh, we got a little detection there. But certainly not enough for there being four wires, live wires back here. Um, this is the one big issue I find with this wall scanner, standard thickness drywall. Um, I cannot find wires in it. All right, I'm going to switch it to metal mode now. And we'll go over the shower here. See the uh, valve there? There's a copper pipe centered back here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, wait. There we go. So it found a non-magnetic metal behind there centered. Look down, boom. There's my shower valve. It's found a copper pipe behind there. So it does a great job with that. All right, next, I'm going to quickly run down to my basement where I have the old 1960s uh, wood paneling here. Now, I'm not going to put it on wood mode because um, obviously the panels are wood, so it's just going to find wood everywhere. I'll put it on electric mode. So uh, right now i got the electric button on and there's a light switch here. I know there's a, on the other side it's unfinished, so there's a wire here. And there's also a wire at this gap with the door on the other side of the stud. So slide it over and it detects the wire right there. That's actually exactly where the wire is. And we'll slide it over. And let's see, there's a wire here somewhere. Yeah, it's picking it up. Yep. When it flashes red like that, it means it's uh, found the wire. And I think it only does that for electric mode. So, um, there we go, found the wire. Um, the, uh, um, so for wood, wood walls, this pretty much only works good um, for when you're looking for wiring or metal or pipes or thing, things of that sort. So I will turn off the backlight here. So overall, works uh, really great for what I needed. I got this because I have thick walls in my house. Um, it's finding everything behind it works better than anyone that I've ever had. Um, specifically got it, I put some recessed lighting in my living room and I wanted to find the ceiling joists. I found them all great. Um, I'm, I'm very satisfied with it in that regard. Um, but as I said earlier, with the half inch standard thickness drywall, um, I can't find a wire. So uh, that's the only issue I run into this is finding electric, live electric wires um, behind the standard uh, half inch, five eighth inch thick dry drywall. Well, anyway, uh, this concludes my video and I hope it helped with your purchasing decision.